Hello there! Welcome or welcome back! I'm glad to have you here! In the last episode, we built that bamboo farm right there, pretty efficient, as you can imagine, that sugarcane farm right there, and we built this barn right here for my cows, for my horses right there, and for my camel, Camilla, right there, as you can see, She's having some fun, she's resting a little bit, why not? And we built this tiny chicken coop right here, that it is actually a tiny slime farm right there. Oh yeah, super nice and super efficient again. But today we are gonna continue working at my village because I was thinking about building a tiny tavern for my clerics to be right there and to be able to trade with them more easily than right now but then I thought it would be awesome if I just have some kind of hotel and a restaurant and bar area for my clerics to be right there so we are gonna start this episode by doing that let's go hello my friends hope you're doing well hope you're doing well it's a nice day huh yeah i also think that uh <laughs> i forgot this silver right there and i already prepared this area right here as you can see it's gonna be quite quite spacious and this is going to be the restaurant and bar area for my clerics to be right here i'm thinking about having like eight maybe ten clerics because that way we can get a lot of redstone and i'm gonna need some redstone in the future because i want to build an iron farm a pretty big one well maybe not that pretty big well we're gonna see in the future <laughs> so let's build it Well, we now have the hotel right there. If you want to visit my village, that it's not a village. Well, you have somewhere to stay. Um, it's pretty similar to the other houses, as you can see, but it is quite bigger because it's a hotel. So let me show you. I already decorated the interior and I moved my clerics from there to the bar. So let's see. Let's see. This is the entrance, as you can see. This is the reception area. Super nice. I think it looks super simple, but I like it. And we have a clock right there. We have this area right here for the visitors to sit and relax. We have some bookshelves if someone wants to read something. We have a bunch of books. We have some decoration here and there. On this side, we have the same. Just one table right there with the chairs and some decoration here and there as you can see this is the bar this is my favorite place <laughs> of this hotel as you can see i have eight clerics right here because i don't need more they are more than enough i used some honey blocks to block them from escaping from that tiny space right there and i place more on this side because that way the villagers once they are free they are not gonna be able to jump to jump and get trapped with them i can do that because of the jump boost 2 effect but that effect is not applied on the villagers as you can see i had to place the brewing stands down there because i placed them before right here and the clerics couldn't reach them so it's a shame because i don't like how it looks now but this works um we have this area right here super nice i think i love it i had to use some string as you can see right there 
to be able to place the carpets on top but i think it looks super super nice on the second floor we have the first four rooms as you can see right here um every single one of these are pretty much the same just um rotated and yeah it looks super nice i'm gonna change these wool blocks in the future for the beds but for now this is gonna stay like that we're not gonna see this interior that much but i wanted to have something inside this pretty big structure and we have this rest area right here i'm not sure how should i call this but it's like a reading room or something like that i'm not i'm not quite sure about that on the third floor we have the other four um rooms as you can see they are pretty much the same as the ones that we saw before um we have this area again and i think it looks super nice i like it let me let me know what you think in the comments down below and we have this area right here empty because i don't know how to decor this we're gonna simulate we're gonna imagine that that's the um, the service area or something like that let's go outside and let me show you how it looks from the exterior as you see i used um stone in this bar right here and i didn't use stuff because i wanted to make this quite different and i think it looks super nice these blocks are also different as you can see right there and this second floor is made out of oak stripped oak and some oak planks as you can see right there because that way it looks it looks better i think it doesn't disrupt the view but it's quite different i totally like it um we're gonna build this tiny marketplace right here because why not i'm gonna move this structure about here this is gonna stay like it is and i'm gonna remove this one because it's too close to the hotel right there so let's build it So this is a tiny marked place. I like it a lot. I think I'm gonna move this thing um, in the future, but for now it's gonna stay like that because I don't know what am I going to place um, right here. So yeah, it's kind of um, redundant, but it's gonna stay like this for now. I'm gonna change one of those blocks with a working bench in the future so we can have some villagers right here and right here also i think it looks super cute i decided to add these flowers right here because it looked kind of empty um and i think it looks better right now and i decided to add this tiny garden right here with this pathway right in between so we can have more color all around this village i'm actually going to add more of these tiny gardens like one right there one right there more all around the village to make it more colorful but for now we're gonna use my nature's compass to locate a warm ocean because i want to have some sniffers and this texture pack has something interesting for me to show you i want at least two because that way we can read them but it's gonna take some time okay we have a look warm ocean pretty close actually so let's go on that direction and let's see if we can get some sniffer eggs i hope that would be awesome but i'm not always that lucky so let's see let's see um that's it this is the look warm ocean what the heck that's a scam i'm gonna locate another ocean because this one it's pretty lame deep look warm ocean please tell me it's it's close it's kind of close actually oh i think here's the entrance to yes this is the entrance to the stronghold let me see i already checked this ship right here if i'm not wrong oh i didn't i didn't oh i haven't checked this before so this should have two more chests right okay okay we have some things we have some things i'm gonna use my squid traveler's backpack so we can breathe and we can see underwater i'm gonna look around hello buddy would you kindly give me that trident please that would be awesome 
Hmm. Oh, that's one. Take it. I see you. And I'm gonna take you down. Take it. Take it. I would love to have a trident. Hmm. How does this special sand look like? Oh, like this one. Okay, so this one is suspicious gravel. Um, suspicious sand. Okay. I'm gonna break that one. Let me see if I can sand. Suspicious sand. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. Because if not, this is gonna take a lot of time. Please give me. No, I don't want that. What is that? Oh my gosh. Golden nugget. Please. Oh my gosh! That's the egg! Thanks so much! I almost missed that one! I was going to leave, and then I saw that one. That's super nice! This one is quite different, as you can see. It's black and white, and you're gonna see why later. It's kinda funny, indeed. So, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope to find another one, because that would be awesome. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we got it! Nice! We have two. That's super nice. Let's go back to my base. Okay. Those maps are duplicates of these ones that I have right here. So we're gonna prepare the area for my sniffers to live. And they're gonna stay right here. Why not? And we're gonna build a tiny collection system to get all the seeds. So let's build it. There they are, there they are, they look super funny. It's kind of strange to me because I'm used to see them in the actual sniffer texture, but they look, they look super cute, I think. They're gonna be super big in no time. Um, if you have some name suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. That would be super nice from you. So we're gonna leave them right here. This is gonna be your house, my friends. Let me show you. This is all that I've got from that little expedition. I'm gonna store this at my house. And then we're gonna look for these buried treasures. So we can get some things. So, let's go. Okay, this is like got from that treasure hunting. Not bad, but not especially good, to be honest. And um, some diamonds and some hearts of the sea. And all the other things are pretty much rubbish. And these guys right here are adults now. So they have been getting some seeds for me. As you can see right here, 12. They find a lot of this starch flower seeds and not that many pitcher pots but i think that's gonna be enough we could get two more of these by breeding them but i don't want to do that because i like just having two right here maybe in the future but for now it's gonna stay like that so uh, let me plant this real quick right here planting the past nice so with these two new members of the family and the hotel that we built at the village i think we can call it an episode for today i hope you enjoyed it and if so please let me know in the comments down below i will appreciate that and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>